this is the last demo of the IoT series and in this demo I'd like to show a complete IoT system. We will start with the simple device, the Arduino, and I will also show a port of the Arduino software to the Netduino, but we will start with the Arduino and the Arduino will use um, a very simple sensor that can sense weight, a scale sensor, and, we, and it will also use a very simple Wi-Fi device so it can transfer the information that it sends, senses to a gateway. And since this uh, Wi-Fi device is a very simple device, we cannot use it to transfer the information directly to the cloud. We need to use an IoT gateway. But we will not use a PC as an IoT gateway or, or a router. We will use the Raspberry Pi as a gateway. We will, we, I will show you a software that I wrote for the Raspberry Pi, which serves as a gateway. The Arduino and the Netduino will connect to this software. And this software will transfer the information to the Event Hub on Microsoft Azure Cloud. From the Event Hub that collects all the information, will transfer the information to Azure storage in two ways. One way is to a blob storage, and there we will, we will store the raw data. And also, after manipulation that we, that we will use the Azure Stream Analytics, we will store it, the information in table storage. So let's start. This is the Raspberry Pi, the new version, the version 2. Um, I use a battery for power supply through the micro USB port. I use a Wi Fi dongle so I can connect to the cloud and to the Arduino and Netduino. And I use my phone as the internet router so the Raspberry, the Netduino, the Arduino, everything is connected through the phone to the internet and to the cloud. The Raspberry is, uh, is running. This is the small Python program that serves as the gateway. So I connect on any IP address, port 501, and I get, it's a, a threaded server, and whenever there is a new connection, I create the Event Hub client, I pass the, the command that comes from the Arduino or Netduino, and I transfer it, send it to the cloud using this class to connect to the to the cloud. So let's run the gateway program. So it's a Python publish event and I need to give it a gateway name. So let's call it gateway pi. So the server now is running and let's move to the Arduino. For this demo, I've created a custom shield and this shield contains different, different devices on it. So one of the devices are an analog to digital device that can read the different weight and convert it to some sort of protocol that the Arduino can read. And I also have a very special, I can, can call it an IoT device. This is a small Wi-Fi device and quite cheap one. And this device is the ESP8266. And the 8266 allows us to connect to another application, to, to a server, or it can also serve as a, as a server, as, a, as an access point it, itself. Uh, the way to the way that the Arduino talks with the ESP8266 is through the serial device, through an AT commands, and then this device communicate using Wi-Fi and TCP IP to another machine, in our case to the Raspberry Pi. Uh, this small circuit in the middle, um, it transferred, the, uh, it reduced the voltage from 5 volt to 3.3 because the IoT, this Wi-Fi device needs or runs on 3.3 volts. So this is the shield. I'm going to connect the shield to the Arduino Uno, the very basic Arduino. And 
I'm using the screen for debugging purposes to see the status, so I connect it, I think, to pin number 6. And I need to provide power, so I use this battery. And it started, the screen said that it's ready. If everything goes well, I should see on the Raspberry Pi the messages that comes from the device. So as you can see, the Arduino is connected to the Raspberry Pi and we get the reading from the Raspberry Pi. So let's put a box of milk on top of this device and it's not calibrated I can calibrate the device but for now the cal calibration is not so important but we get some values um, we get values uh, like uh, 703 grams and the milk is not full so it might be okay so let's drink Cheers, and let's see what's happened. So as you can see, I put back the milk box and now the weight is a little less. Of course it's not calibrated, but you got the ID. Now I will remove the shield from the Arduino and I will connect it to the Netduino. The Netduino is a device uh, which has the same outputs and the same port as the Arduino but it runs .NET Micro Framework and you develop using C Sharp with it and using Visual Studio and it's much easier to debug it has a .NET Framework so uh, if you are uh, uh, usually use C Sharp and .NET this might be the device for you. So I'm connecting the shield to the Arduino. I'm moving to Visual Studio. And I ported the application to use C Sharp. I also ported the library for the scale, for the scale sensor. And it's a very simple program. It's mimics the Arduino program, but again, I'm using C Sharp and uh, .NET Micro Framework classes. And this is the loop that connects to uh, using the ESP to the Raspberry Pi. So I already downloaded it to the Netduino. So let's connect the power to the Netduino. And. It now starts. The last message was came from the Arduino, the scale.arduino device, and now we have a new message that comes from the scale.net device. So this is the portal, and here I'd like to, sh to see two services. One of them is the service bus with the event hub. So I go to the, my IoT demo, and when I go to the event hub, I see that I have an IoT event hub and as you can see there are messages from the um, from the Netduino and the Arduino and let's use the utility which called the service bus explorer and let's see this event hub so I have the IoT I'm going to use the Service Bus Explorer Consumer Group and I'd like it to show me the partition and as I recall this is the partition that has the information and let's get partitioner listener 
and let's start it and we see the events that we got all of these events from the time that I ran the demo so the service bus listener now reads all the information from uh, the event from the event hub let's see what's happened with the information after it passes the event hub so let's go back to the portal and let's go to the stream, stream analytics so in stream ana uh, analytics we can see that we have two two analytics jobs one of, one of them is compute IoT and another one is compute IoT to blob Ex sorry, consume IoT and consume IoT to blob since I'm using my phone it takes some more time but again we see that the job runs and if we go to the query this is the query that uses the windows, the time window to, um, ag to aggregate different events to uh, one message that goes to the Azure table so again it takes a little bit time but we will get the result we can see that this that all uh, that the information comes from the event hub and that it goes in this case to the table storage and in that case it goes to the blob storage so this is uh, the stream analytics service in the cloud now let's see the information that we get so in this case I will use Visual Studio since Visual Studio can show us uh, the information from the cloud so I have the blob storage and I have the table storage let's start with the table storage here I can see the aggregated result from the stream analytics and in the blob storage see the file we can download the file for example let's save it uh, on, on C IoT and then after we just sort of downloaded the file we can run the Microsoft BI designer this is still in beta and let's add a new a new source gate data we actually could go directly to Azure but since we downloaded the file let's open the file CSV file let's choose IOT, this is the file. So it loads the data. So we see all the information, for example, the sense of value and the uh, gateway ID if it needs and uh, or, or the sensor ID so we have the Arduino and the Netduino for example this type of graph again we don't have lots of information this is the information that we got but once we will have much more information we can do much more uh, with the data Thank you.